I grow loads of fruit in pots and one of the things I find is that they need a lot of watering which is a bit of a hassle. So I try to work out lots of different ways to reduce the amount I need to water. So I thought I would just show you a few of the ones that I uh, have used and which are the best ones I find. So for the most decorative way of doing it probably is to use um, shingle like you'd have on a driveway, pea shingle. It looks quite smart. Um, and it can be just laid on top like that, it keeps the moisture in the soil. Because basically all you want to do is put something on top of the compost, that means that when you water, the water doesn't immediately start evaporating off. You want the water to stay in the soil as much as possible, particularly if you're planting in terracotta pots, which look nice, because they uh, tend to lose a bit of moisture through the sides, so it's good to have something on top. So one of those pea shingles, quite easy to get hold of, really easy. Wool's excellent if you can get hold of wool, if not, um, any old uh, woolen jumper, which has been eaten by moss, is a good, good thing. Moss, excellent if you have it in the garden, which I do, just because I don't dig the beds enough. You can also buy sphagnum moss online. The other one is coir, which is what you get in hanging basket liner. So this is an old hanging basket liner, which I sort of used to put on top of it, and it's become all fluffy, but it makes a nice, easy mulch, because you can just easily pull it up and put water and then put it back down again. And the same with the wool. Um, and other things you can use are slate chippings, Cotswold chippings, and probably one of the easiest ones, bark chippings, which a lot of people have anyway, which you just lay loads on it, um, or newspaper or cardboard, grass clippings, straw, or even black plastic if you don't care what it looks like. But sometimes, so it's up to you whether you want it to look pretty or not. But I can guarantee you it'll cut down so much on the water and it makes such a difference because in the heat of summer you can be watering pots like this twice a day. Whereas if you put something on top, it just cuts it right, makes it much, much easier.